Hello, hello, hello. My name is Mancha Lotus. I'm founder of Loose Woman Sanctuary and host of the Hello Goddesses podcast, as well as Tuesday Table Talks. I'm here from this beautiful and divine space, love and light wellness and love and light cuisine. Today, I want to discuss or teach you all a sacred technique, an ancient uh, technique called Sitho Hum Kriya. It is gestor, it's a gestorial mantra. Uh, for me personally, it has been influential in my life, uh, creating life change and transformation because it allows us to understand the purpose and the strategic placement of who we are within this universe. So as I said, it's a gestorial mantra and there are five steps. The first step is to submit and surrender. This is a practice that I also teach my classes. We end each class with this particular uh, gestorial mantra. So, Siddho Hum Kriya. First, to submit and surrender. With hands here, allowing the body to be in a posture of submission and surrendering to the universe. We submit and surrender to the highest source of masculine energy. We submit and surrender to the highest source of feminine energy. We allow our lives to flow as water and to blow as wind. The second, the second step, step is commune, the second step not prayer. Mantra, I got a little bit ahead of myself, prayer. but the second step Within is commune. Within this mantra, this is the part that we acknowledge our ancestors. We acknowledge where we come from. We acknowledge the divinity, the, the, the divinity that they gift us and all the gifts that they have given us thus far. So to our ancestors, we gently bow to those ancestors, those ancestors that have gone before, those that we have never known but strengthen us each day, we acknowledge you. We thank you for allowing us to continue your rich and golden legacy. To our ancestors, those ancestors that have gone before, those that we know, those that we love and miss, we acknowledge you. We humble ourselves to you. We thank you for allowing us to continue along the rich and golden path that you have set for us to follow. To our great-great-grandparents, to our great-grandparents, to our grandparents, to our mothers, to our fathers, to our daughters, to our sons, to our sisters, to our brothers, to our uncles, to our aunts, to our nieces, to our nephews, to our dear mates, our husbands and wives, our spouses, our dear friends, we love you. We acknowledge you. We thank you for entering into our sleep and slumber with words of wisdom. We thank you for your dance. We thank you for your song. We thank you for your divine protection and your divine intervention over our lives. Now we gently rise up. The third step is prayer. We open our arms and release our deepest desires. We release our deepest aspirations out into the universe and allow them to flourish and magnify and become ultimate manifestors. So here you keep in your mind's eye what it is that you wish. What is your deepest prayer? What is your gift to the world? So here, we open our arms, we release out into the universe our deepest desires, our deepest prayers, those hidden secrets and aspirations within our heart. We understand and recognize that we are more than conquerors. We are the architects and designers of our destinies. The truth of who we are lies within the blueprint of our DNA. We are great beyond measure. Therefore, there is nothing that we will not and shall not achieve and attain within this life. Now here, this is the part for me personally that was very difficult, um, this, this gesture. This is the receiving mode, the receiving pose. Sometimes as nurturers, as givers, we give so much to others that it's hard for us to be able to receive. So here, within this posture, allow yourself to receive your bounty. You have been diligent, you have been steadfast, you have been compassionate and loving, you have been a wonderful human being. So open your arms to receive what is yours. Here, allow that gift to be given back to you. 
and also recognize and understand that as we receive our blessings, we not only receive it for the sake and prosperity for ourselves, but we receive our gifts for the sake and security of our families, for the sake and security of our communities, for the sake and security of the nation, and for the sake and security of the human race. Now, the final pose is palm over palm and place to our hearts. This is our gratitude pose. This is the part that we are grateful and recognize the importance of our lives and importance of the purpose of us being here within this physical plane. So here we are grateful. We are so very grateful to be able to come together once again in sound mind, body, soul, and spirit. We're grateful to be able to communion with one another. We understand and recognize that where we stand is where spirit sits admiring our tenacity, admiring our resilience, and admiring our abilities to continue to set forth on our own individual life's path, fulfilling our own individual life's purpose. Ashe and Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Please uh, follow me at uh, www.justmantra.org and by all means, follow us at Love and Light Wellness and Love and Light Cuisine on all social media platforms. Thank you for your gift.